three well-grown men set out to piece together the impossible. To come together against all odds and put together the ultimate clone recipe for Pine Drops IPA. They travel distant lands with their backs against the wall to find the perfect hops, water, grains, and yeast. The recipe took over a year in the works to finally master. Fortunately, all three men, Maury, C.H., and Kevin, all lived to tell about it. This is how their story began. P.S. All ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions will be listed in the description below. Cheers! Hey everybody, this is Maury Fletcher from... Homebrew for life. Today we're gonna make Pine Drop IPA from Deschutes Brewing. The brewery is based out of Bend, Oregon, and we're going to be making this fantastic beer today. We're gonna be using like grain. Yeah. Lots and lots of grain. And we'll be using hops. Got all kinds of fancy hops to make different flavors and aromas and bitterness and things like that. Got yeast and water, and we're gonna start cooking this up here pretty soon. And we're really excited about it. I hope you stay tuned and pay attention because you're gonna learn a lot. Uh, we're getting ready to mash in. We are measuring out the water we need. So usually when I'm brewing, I mash in uh, anywhere from a quart of water per pound of grain to 1.5 quarts of water per pound of grain. Uh, today, I think we're aiming somewhere be uh, around 1.35 quarts of water per pound of grain. And we're gonna heat that water up to about 166. And with adding uh, the grain that's at room temperature right now, and I think room temperature in California right now is about 60 degrees. So we're probably gonna drop down to about 150 too, which is what we're aiming for for our mash temperature. And that's what we're getting started right now, so watch and enjoy. Right you want to make sure there's no chunks of grain, you want it all mixed in, no lumps or chunks, and that's our mash. So we're going to wait about 30 minutes so that the enzymes in the grain will start converting starch into sugar. Uh, back in the day, you used to have to mash in for about an hour. Uh, with the technology in the malt houses, uh, the enzymatic content of the grain is a lot better nowadays and it doesn't take as long of a mash rest to convert all the starch into sugar. It's a lot more efficient these days. So it can, anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes and all your conversions happen. So yeah, we're gonna wait about 30 minutes and then we're gonna start minutes. sparging. Start the timer. No, no, our temperature. I'm hitting 150 right now. The important temperature range to hit is anywhere from 148 to 158. That's where most of your conversion is gonna happen. The lower end of that range, that temperature range, you're gonna get more conversion, which means a cleaner, crisper beer. The higher end of that range, you get a little less conversion, which means a thicker, maltier beer. That lower end of the range, you get a lot more alpha amylase, and at the upper end of that range, you get beta amylase. Basically, just kind of change the body of the beer based on that temperature range. And we're at the lower end of the range. Most IPAs and pale ales will be at that crisper, kind of sharper finish, more fermentable sugars. But yeah, we pretty much nailed about 150. I got 149. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was doing my last video and the battery ran out. It sucked. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Subscribe to our channel. What's up? Uh, what's up? <laughs> what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> I need to make sure I am rolling. Okay, good. good. What's up, everybody? Uh, so we're 20 minutes into our mash. We want to start getting our sparge water ready. We're going to measure out about five and a quarter gallons. We're going to heat our water up to about 170, 175. It's really important when you sparge not to ever get above 175 degrees because that'll leach tannins out of the husk material, which will create an undesired bittering quality in your beer. But it is important to make sure the water is hot as possible because rinsing away sugars is a lot easier with hot water. If you've ever spilled syrup in your counter and you try and clean it up with cold water, it takes forever, but if you get a nice hot rag and wipe it up, it just wipes away really easy. So what we're trying to do is rinse away all the sugars from the grain that is built up in the grain. So by heating up our water to 170, 175, that's as hot as we can get it without leaching those tannins out of the husk material. So that's what we're getting ready right now, and you're gonna see us form that process here pretty soon. And we're basically just gonna pour the hot water over the top of the grain bed while the water drains from the grain into our boil kettle. And we're essentially just trying to rinse away all the goodness from the grain, just like if you were making a pot of coffee. Cheers. Just finished boar lofting and sparging. 
Our kettle's almost full. Once our kettle's full, uh, we'll get the boil going. We're gonna boil for about 60 minutes. What do we got? We're gonna throw in one ounce of nugget hops for our bittering hops. And 60 minutes. So this will boil for 60 minutes. Uh, we've got a couple other additions within that hour long boil. We're gonna do Northern Brewer at 20 minutes with 20 minutes left on the boil. Then we're gonna do one ounce of Centennial hops, 10 minutes left on the boil. And then at Flame Out, we're gonna add one ounce of Chinook and one ounce of Equinox hops. Once everything's done boiling, we'll get it cooled down to below 80 degrees, and we're gonna put it in our fermenter and add our yeast. And then you just kinda sit and wait for the good things to happen. And then in two weeks, we drink beer, and we burp beer. And then we start it all over again. <laughs> Until we die. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for checking out this week's episode. Shout out to Maury. Maury back there, head brewer at Booze Brothers Brewery in Vista. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every Tuesday night. If you don't like this video, subscribe anyways and tell all your friends about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let us know how your batch turned out. Post it in the comment section below. Have a good one. Cheers to eating good and drinking good. We gotta shoot it again. Why? You gotta kill the music. Is it that loud? I think it's gonna pick up. You said pause.